Hello, it's Eve. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to unpick surged or overlocked seams and fix a mistake. So this is a pair of trig shorts that I recently made for my other half. I used an organic cotton that is quite loose in the weave structure. You can kind of see through it if you look carefully enough. They're really comfy, they're really lovely, but they are, although I used the exact same pattern um, that I'd cut out before and made a green pair with, I'll put a little bit photo here of me wearing them. Um, these were a lot looser and it's down to the fabric weave. The other ones were made out of a kind of tightly woven cotton blend. These are made from a pure cotton looser weave and so they've just stretched out whilst sewing. So the waistband is far too big. He puts them on, they fall down. So we're gonna unpick, and there's an easy way to do it, the overlocked seams. I also, well, technically I should probably also unpick the three lines of stitching that I did for the waistband, but I think a speedier way is just to remove the waistband, cut a section off the back, seam it together, and then stick it back on again. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this is the overlocking that we're gonna take apart unfortunately i wasn't planning on taking apart so the threads are all the same color can you see that if i had used a thread on the needle that was a different color i'd be able to see it more clearly but essentially if you go along and you pull this thread from the needle i don't even remember if i had two needle threads or one no i used two needles so if you can take apart both needles, then the looping should all come undone. But it's going to take a little while. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm struggling to see. Also, the fabric is quite loose weave, so I have to be careful not to pick that up. And I think I also need to undo this layer of fabric um, stitching. Can you see? And then it's just, it's all just coming off. So the looping will unloop because there's nothing to hold it in place but to get there you've got to take out all these why is it not coming apart because i have another line of stitching <laughs> i'm going to continue and i will check back in with you shortly oh my gosh that took me an hour to remove the entire waistband because of the two rows of stitching it's a hot mess it looks awful so i'm going to tidy this up i think what i'm going to do because i don't want to go through the hassle of taking off all the other lines of stitching i'm going to go to the center back seam i'm going to unpick these three rows i'm going to cut the elastic shorter and then i'm going to oh, how is that even going to work mm, maybe i'm going to cut the whole thing that's what i'm going to do we'll do it now uh fabric scissors Otherwise, like this actually has to be shorter. Otherwise, I'm going to have to cut all of those different lines of stitching. And that is going to take me another hour. And I'm not doing it. I want to get other stuff done today. So let us unpick. Where's my ripper? And the good news is that I uncut it right by the original. Do you know what's it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not impressed that this is having to be done after that. I'd already sewn them up and had a really nice finish. So what we're going to do is chop a big chunk of this off. And he always wears like a shirt over the back anyway, so it doesn't matter so much. And then what do we got this side? Okay. So we want to make sure. Okay. So I'm going to take off all of that. And all of that. We are then going to... Oh, this is where it gets fun. Let's make sure we can pull this back as far as possible. This is not the cleanest. Oh, I've got to be careful because I'm going to rip the fabric. Not the cleanest repair slash alteration, but as long as David can get them on and they still look good. I do have some more fabrics. I could cut the waistband again completely from scratch, but... I was hoping to use what's left of it to make like a kind of waistcoat or top uh, jacket for him. So it's like a combi. And the reason I'm going back is I think I'm going to have to add a bit of stretch to make it fit the waistband now. Because that will have stretched out and I've taken some away of the elastic. So what I'm going to do is trim this one centimeter beyond 
so that's left a centimeter so I can seam this to this but now we're also going to roll this back a bit and the same for this side and then we're going to sew these together mm, actually we're gonna overlap it aren't we so we need to make sure that this is I'm just gonna do it like this for a second you see that and then what I can do is I can make sure that I'm looking Now we're going to seam the blue together, then we're going to seam the elastic together, and then we're going to reattach it. Okay, so I'm sewing at one centimeter allowance because that's what I allowed for. And I'm sewing with a small stitch length to make sure that it, um, yeah, it doesn't stretch out any further. Then I'm going to overlap the two pieces of elastic. So I had made the black marks on the reverse and I'm just going to line them up. So that's our waistband. Now I'm going to have to load up the blue thread to continue with the channels. I have no idea. I think I've got a universal needle. I can't remember which one I last had in here. Which side do we like more? I don't think it matters at this point. We're just going to do it. Yeah, it's not doing anything to the elastic. I think the elastic's warped. Hmm. Should have just left it as it was, but he wanted it taken in. And then now we're going to attach it to here. This is a mess as well. That's gonna have to be the inside. That's gonna have to be the outside. I just wanna get an idea of where the center is to make sure that is going at the center front. That's never gonna fit. Gonna have to have the center front pleat. going towards yeah so I'm just winging this to make it all fit and trying to make sure that it's gonna work okay so I've had to put a pleat in because of the it's gonna be too small for him now probably <laughs> probably um I had to put a pleat in because there was just too much fabric to go back into the waistband because it's obviously stretched out and so now I have to measure the same thing oh my gosh let me zoom out so you can see okay so I had to put a pleat in on the front because there was just too much fabric because it has stretched out and the waistband is smaller um so I just kind of tucked it behind the pocket as you can see like the pocket bag so it should still fall nice when he's got his hands in his pockets i've got to now measure it out so i do the same on the reverse let's trim that thread 9.5 9.5 is here and then i'm going to put excess into there as well but i obviously need to work from the back these are so messy now oy, oy, oy. the elastic is just like gone <laughs> Maybe I can put like a funky label on there or something. So we're going to do the opposite side and we're going to do it the same way. I'm going to let the fabric feed itself, but I'm going to hold the elastic taut. And the reason for that is because I don't want to, oh, I don't want to mess it up any further than it already is. Yes, we appear to have a lot of fabric still. <laughs> so we're going to go here like this. And then, how did we do the other side? I've forgotten. So it was here, and then the fabric is going back into... So we want it to be folded here, like this. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster. Fiddliest thing I've ever done in the world. Okay, so this went that way. I don't understand why my brain's not connecting properly. Okay, like this. 
my cookie, that was hotter than it needed to be. Okay, a moment of truth. So the pleats are in the right place. They weren't obviously in an original detail, but they are now. And the waistband at the back is awful, but you know, that's just how life is sometimes. So now I need to overlock the insides to stop it from fraying. And that's what I'm gonna do now, just because I think it's what needs to be done. Okay, he's just tried them on and they fit. The side seam is obviously displaced because it's no longer on the side. We've taken in the front quite substantially, but it's fine. We're gonna overlock it, it's done. And I can move on to something else. Do you have all these loose threads? But I'm just gonna go for it for now and see where we get. We'll start at the center back. Okay, last job is just to tidy up all the threads. I, ah, well, I loved this pair of shorts when I first made them for him, but now they're just letting the team down. But he's happy with them, so that is all that matters. I will have to make him a new, nicer pair. It's such an easy pattern to make up. It's just I don't really have enough fabric to recut these completely. And I bought this fabric like a year and a half ago or something, so I, ooh, that's my tummy, I'm so hungry. So I won't be able to buy more of it and match it to this. But there we go. And he'll wear like a shirt over this always. He never goes tucked in, so that won't be noticeable. That's just me that will and to be fair, he didn't notice it either. <laughs> he was just like, yay, they fit, which is a good thing. And he was fine with the pleats at the front. So there you have it. Okay, so I have fully taken in these shorts. The amount, I took off quite a substantial bit of fabric and um, elastic. So that's the total that I took off elastic. But then I overlapped it again by probably like an inch and a little bit. So they have been taken in quite a lot. I had to put the pleats in because obviously the fabric of the waist was greater than the amount of fabric and elastic I had. The back has of course stretched out. We don't like that, but he's happy. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. I didn't make them for any other reason than to make him happy. So he can wear these now. They've got nice big pleats. And yes, the side seam is displaced, but he doesn't mind. And that's that done. So that's how you unpick overlocking slash surging um, seams, surged seams. Um, be aware that if you have used elastic or if you've used a lightly woven fabric, it will stretch out normally and therefore you're going to end up in the same pickle that I had. But overall, this is a great little fix and as long as he wears them, all is worthwhile. It took me about two hours. A good hour of that was unpicking all the overlocking thread. Um, and that's because I had sewn it with such a small stitch because of the weave. So it took a while longer than it should have. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Do give the video a thumbs up um, just to let everyone else know that it was a good video because then YouTube will show it to more people that want to know how to do it themselves. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is as often as I'm able to edit them. Um, take care. Thanks again for watching. Bye.